What we have here today is a 20 inch McGraw Edison Zero box fan. This is a model 20488. Two speed push button. There's the fan's badge and all the information. Burstead Manufacturing Division of the McGraw Edison Company. Pretty cool fan. It's in pretty decent shape for what it is. It's got its wear and tear marks from age and use, but other than that, not terrible. Back. Fairly clean. It's definitely been used over the years, but not terrible, like I said. The only thing that I had to replace on it was the plug-in because where the cord goes into the molded plug-in, it failed and lost connection so the fan wouldn't work anymore. So that had to get cut off and replaced with that white one. Other than that, everything is original, including this box here that's next to it, the original box. Seems like the Eskimos and the Zeros all had the same box. I believe the Manning Bowman and the Toastmaster fans had their own unique box. Seems like Eskimo and Zero was their baseline fans. And Manning Bowman and Toastmaster were their prime line fans. And right there is just a shipping stamp to where it was sold at a drugstore in Fairfield near my house here. Same thing on this side. Shipping label. Barely noticeable. It shows the model number 204880 two speed. Very faint there, but not gonna if I if we look on the bottom. Just information regarding the box itself. Grow as in product. Pretty cool graphics with the fans there on bordering it. And graphic of a three speed model with the turn knob. A little bit upper trim line than these. So let's see what she does. Starting on look. Low speed, surprisingly, is fairly decent on this fan. Typically, these are fairly fast low speeds on these. This one is actually pretty decent. If it, the motor didn't moan like it does, it would actually be pretty decent, right? decent low speed. I mean, it's still a decent low speed, but the motor almost makes more noise than the fan does. And high. Sometime in the past, the fan fan blade has struck something, so it's not in true alignment anymore. But it still runs fairly smooth. Get a lot of coast. There's a little bit of a chip on one of these blades where the probably a screwdriver or something got pushed in and struck it, and it bent one of the bent the lower frame there right there right side of that left frame remember and right here is where it got damaged no real big deal so real quick do a high speed startup And let it coast. And that's all I got for this fan. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video on this 20 inch zero box fan model 20488.
from the mid to late 1960s. But, so we'll be seeing you next time. Take care. Stay cool. Peace.